Hello Capricorn and welcome to your May reading. I hope you're having a wonderful 2024 so far. I can't believe we're nearly halfway through the year. It's just so scary. Where, where does the time go? It's unbelievable. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So do check out her channel. And uh, if you enjoy the content that myself and my sister put out, then do click that like button because uh, the algorithm really, really loves it when you click that like button and it really does help us out. So Capricorn, let's see what's in store for you. So you've got the Ten of Wands and this is your recent past. Capricorn, this is showing all work, no play and you're doing far too much. Now that is a typical Capricorn because you are career driven, you are hard working and this is exactly what this is saying. You are taking on far too much Capricorn. Be really, really careful at the minute because you know, you're burning the candle at both ends. You're so busy. You're being pulled in so many different directions. You've got so many different things on the go and you're weighing yourself down. So just be careful, Capricorn, because there's only so many days in the week. There's only so many hours in the day. And at the minute, you have just absolutely got your days your hours, your weeks, absolutely full. And it's, you know, and it's lovely to be busy because, you know, we had COVID for a few years. Everybody was in lockdown, not a lot doing. But now it's like suddenly you are just out there, Capricorn. You are just in demand and you you just haven't got enough hours in the day so do be careful delegate where you can you know if you've got friends um if you've got family who can help you with the housework and the chores around the house then just see if they can and if there's anything that you're doing that's helping out other families and friends you know and you might be able to just say here and there like can somebody else do that because it, you know just be careful that you're just not taking on too much Capricorn. And for May, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. A wonderful card to have there. This is saying your fortune can turn around. Capricorn, you know no better than anybody else that your life can suddenly change. And you also are aware that you are the driving force of your life. Our thoughts our actions, they are the things that direct our life wherever we choose to go. So you are aware, Capricorn, that you are the driving force that is in control of your life. You are the one who can push it forward. You are the one who can direct it where you need to go. What's helping you at the moment, Capricorn, is the stability that's around you. You do have a really good, solid family life. You know, Capricorns have been through the hard time where you've got rid of the toxic, unfriendly people in your life. And now the people who are around you, Capricorn, are the people that love you, that respect you, that treat you nice. These are the people that are there to help you. And they really, really are. So you've got a good, solid family network around you at the moment, Capricorn. And that is really what is helping you. So do make the most of that. My advice to you is to be careful of the thoughts that are coming into your head, particularly at night times. I think our candle's gone out there. We'll just carry on with the reading. Be careful of these thoughts because they could be things that are playing on your mind. And with the nine of swords, this really does say this is things from the past. You know, we're all guilty of laying in bed thinking, oh, I should have said this. I should have said that. Oh, God, why didn't I say this? When the event has gone, it's too late to say it. 
But just know that next time somebody says something, stand up for yourself. You can speak the truth with kind words. These swords, they're not actually going into this person. They're just next to them. So whatever has gone on in the past, whatever's going through your mind, it cannot physically hurt you, Capricorn. So deal with it, put it in a box, send it away. Imagine in your head, you know, these negative thoughts, putting them in a box, tying them to a hot air balloon and let the hot air balloon soak away and send those negative thoughts out into the universe and ask the universe to deal with it. To take all the hurt from the past away from you. You don't need that baggage now. So don't let them, any negativity from your past affect your present or your future. There's no space for that there. So let it go, Capricorn. Do some letting go techniques and let the past go. Don't let it hurt you. Those toxic people aren't in your life anymore. So don't let the remnants of their toxicity upset you now. Let it go and move forward. And look at your outcome card here, the chariot card. Again, much like the Wheel of Fortune, this is saying you are the driving force. You are steering this chariot. And usually when you get the chariot, Capricorn, it's about making a decision. So in May, you may have to make a decision, a decision that once made, you can't go back, but you will be the driving force behind it. You will be pushing this decision forward. I just want to pull another card and let's lay over that, see if we can get a bit more more about this decision. What is this decision going to be about, Capricorn? It's going to be about money. You are making decisions where your finances are concerned. Decisions with money, balancing of money. Wow, so you could have an offer in May. Some money that's finally coming your way because you've been waiting for some money, haven't you, Capricorn? So decisions with money in May. Balancing and decisions with money that could change your life there with the Wheel of Fortune. So very, very exciting. And what have we got here? We've got the giraffe foresight. You are able to see what's in store for you for the future. So Capricorn, you may be really, really intuitive. You may have these psychic moments when you pick up psychically something that could happen. And you're thinking, I knew that was going to happen. I had that thought in my head. And you know, also when you get that gut feeling in the pit of your stomach that something's a good idea or a bad idea. Well, this is saying, trust your foresight, trust your intuition, trust that inner guidance. When you get it, Capricorn, let it guide you and trust what you're getting. 